Hello everyone, my name is James Horsey, I'm also known as Colorline Productions on here. And today I wanted to talk to you about a style. A style which a lot of us are using now. A style which a lot of us are copying. And this style is Casey Neistat's style of vlogging. And I want to talk about it. Follow me. The best piece of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. See, the problem is in this um, new modern world, we're all we're all kind of doing vlogs, just like me. I'm following down that same route. We're all trying to be the same as someone. We're not taking inspiration from people. And a lot of people I've noticed recently are following Casey Neistat's style. And the thing is, we don't need to follow this style. There is no need. We can all take inspiration from people, but that doesn't mean we need to be like them. And now, I know I'm not a big YouTuber, I'm not famous or anything, but I make original types of content, at least I hope. But that doesn't mean my content doesn't have inspiration from people like Casey Neistat and Bertie Gilbert. Do you see what I mean? That's looking alright. That'll do. See, the thing is, we all try to copy this style. Uh, rather than taking the influence. And I've noticed that a lot recently. Especially with Casey Neistat style. And in fact, before I talk full in detail about this, I have to go to school. So the other day I watched this video uh, this video to be precise and it made me realize that the style that was being shown in this a lot of upcoming vloggers are using it's so similar to Casey Neistat and you do see elements of this style in my series what I'm thinking about but not exactly the same I think what we're forgetting here is that we need to be original to be different to get noticed we, if you're just gonna rip off someone you're not gonna get anywhere this video is trying to be an exact rip off of those styles and we we need to try and be different always take inspiration though don't get inspiration and ripping off mixed up because it's an easy thing to get mixed up with just try and be you go for a style experiment my vlog series took ages to get into the right style i think it was episode seven that i started really finding what i wanted to do and you will eventually get there too. It just takes time. It's a bloody lovely day. I'm out here. This is something Casey does and I've always wanted to do this, but I never did it because I didn't want to be exactly the same. So this gives me an excuse. We should all be able to take inspiration from people, but we shouldn't try and be replicas, if that makes sense. So, what I was trying to say back there is that, um, Casey Neistat is that's something he does is vlog on his board and that's it's, that's something I've always wanted to do uh, is vlog on my board but I've never done it because I didn't want to be a ripoff or I believe you should be able to take things that people do if you like them but you don't need to make the whole video exactly the same as their style take inspiration like like going on a skateboard and vlogging but there are elements that people use. You don't need to be an exact replica if that makes sense. I've not been saying this whole time, you shouldn't take inspiration. I really, inspiration is the only reason a lot of content creators exist. You just need to, you need to have your own style. Take inspiration, use elements of other people's work and merge them together. That can sometimes be something different. 
and I hope maybe this video has made people who watch it, not sure who will watch it, um, but people who watch it maybe think that there are other ways to improve their content than being exactly the same as other people. And like I say, Mark, Casey Neistat is an inspiration of mine, and so is Bertie Gilbert. And I guess I merged those two styles together to make what I'm thinking about. Let's go and skate again. Where I live, this is my favorite place to skate, is this massive car park, especially on a weekend, because it's empty as hell, and it's just so nice to skate. And the tarmac is so smooth that I just roll in like an, even on a normal skateboard, it is so fun to skate down here. Abby Morgan smells and she's on Colorline Productions. What? <laughs> so that's where my cat went. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. Yeah. James, I don't look good. Go away. <laughs> James just comes around the corner. <laughs>